Yes, come and adore him, Christ the Lord. Come now with us, if you will, into our children's chapel for our special Christmas time broadcast with the story of the first Christmas in voice and song. Welcome to our children's chapel. The chapel doors are open wide. It's time for us to go inside. The children's chapel where we'll sing and worship Christ our heavenly King. This is Bob Lee speaking. There's a festive spirit today in our children's chapel. This is Christmas, and we open our doors to boys and girls, to their parents and friends, all over the world. We're happy today because, as Christians, we are observing the birthday of our Savior. We express this joy in worship. We express it in song. We express it through prayer. But, of course, we do that every week of the year here in Children's Chapel. We always sing. We always have our time for prayer. We always bring to you a dramatization of a Bible story. But Christmas is a special time for us, mostly because there is a special story. Most of you know the Christmas story very well. It's the most wonderful story that has ever been told in this world. And the first ones to tell it were the angels when they appeared to the shepherds on that first Christmas. That is the story we are making alive for you today. We have opened our Bibles to the second chapter of Luke, and have arranged the marvelous account into a picture for your mind. Our microphone today is shared by David Moore, Paul Borgi, Elaine Lee at the organ, and our special Children's Chapel Christmas Choir. We are all waiting to bring you our adaptation for this broadcast of your favorite Bible story, The First Christmas. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Please, sir, do you have a room here? Sorry, all the rooms are taken. But we must have a room. We've come all the way from Nazareth and Galilee. You should have come earlier. The inn here filled up this afternoon. I don't know where you'd find a room in all of Bethlehem tonight. But surely there must be some place in here for us. Someone with you? Yes, and that's why I need the room so desperately. If it were only me, I, I could sleep anywhere, even in a barn. But my wife, she must have a room. I'm sorry, but I told I you No, that... I know, but don't you understand? There must be some place for the baby. Baby? You have a baby with you, too? Not yet, but we expect it to be born any time, maybe tonight. Mm, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Why don't you take shelter for tonight in one of the cattle barns, or, or maybe even in one of the caves? And then perhaps you can find something better tomorrow. You can't do anything for us. Well, thank you anyway. Sorry. Good luck. <coughs> And so it was that while they were there, 
the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. They must uh, fix the fire, will you? They must keep it bright so the wolves don't become too brave. The wolves aren't going to come around tonight. Hmm. How do you know? Have you spoken with them lately? It's simple. They smell the dust. All those people who traveled into Bethlehem today for the census make the road very dusty. There's just enough wind to carry it over the hills, and the wolves are smart enough to know that when there are people around, they should stay away. You have quite an imagination, Amos. Well, I hope you're right. We can't let anything happen to these sheep. Even so, let's get the fire going better. I'm getting rather chilly. <sighs> wolves or no wolves. Oh, all right. But remember that next time it's... Come. Look. Look. Look at that. What's happening? What did you do to the fire? I haven't touched the fire. This light is not of the earth. It blinds me. Has a star fallen? Has the sun returned at night to burn us? Where are you? I'm afraid. I can't see. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said, We must go to Bethlehem right away. We'll hurry. The Lord has spoken to us through his angel. And thousands of angels in a mighty song. We must see this babe that God has told us about. Come. We must go at once. This is the place. This is the manger where the angel told us we would find the babe. Look, inside. See? Oh, yes. What a beautiful sight. And there is the baby's mother. Remember what the angel said? How can I ever forget? This child is the savior that God has promised to the world. This little babe is the Messiah. What should we do? Worship. We are in the presence of God. <laughs> Yeah. 
so many to tell. Where should we start? Maybe in Jerusalem. Or should we tell our families first? But who will listen to us? Who will believe us? We can only tell them and we must do that. Amos, look, down the street. Two men, they are coming this way. Hurry, and we'll go to meet them. They shall be the first to know. They can see the babe for themselves and then help us tell the others. <laughs> Thank you, choir, for giving our story of the first Christmas such beautiful music today on Children's Chapel. And our thanks also to Elaine Lee at the organ and to the voices of our story, Paul Borgie and David Moore. And now, friends, will you join me in this prayer? Thank you, God, for Christmas, for the happiness and the joy, for the music and the light, for the warmth of the family circle. And thank you, God, for the meaning of Christmas, for the Christ child who is our Savior and Lord. And thank you for letting us pray to him. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide in us, our Lord, Emmanuel. Amen. This is Bob Lee saying thank you for being with us to worship today in Children's Chapel. Another Christmas story and more Christmas music will be a part of our broadcast next week. In the meantime, we say to you and yours, a blessed Christmas.